Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura. And I did ask on Facebook for a vote on which charm square to use for my next project. I did have love notes and squeeze the day. Well, out of 144 people that voted, there was 112 that have voted for love notes. So I am going to be making my next project from the Love Notes Charm Pack. Now I'm going to be making a disappearing nine patch, but I'm going to add in one additional fabric just to give me a little bit more space to make some blocks. So the vote was between Squeeze the Day from Wellington Fabrics and Love Notes by Moda. So I did end up with the winning pile of Love Notes. Now I do want to make a disappearing nine patch which means I'm going to take nine of these squares, sew them together, and then cut them apart. But if I do that, I am only going to be able to use 36 of these squares, which leaves me six left over. But if I add five squares of another color, I am going to only have two squares left over. And I like that math a lot better. So I just went through my stash and I found a red that I think would be a lot of fun with this fabric. The fabric has these little ladybugs on them and the fabric was from Riley Blake's design. So I will be mixing the Riley Blake Love Bugs and the Moda Love Notes. So I need to cut five squares from this background fabric but I want them identical to this size. Even though these are advertised as 5 inches, I still want them the exact 5 inches of this pack. So the first thing I'm going to do is straighten up that one edge. Once that one edge is squared off, I'm going to make one strip of fabric this exact width. And I want to do the outside measurement. The little edges have this little zigzag. And I want to measure from that outside point to the outside point, not that little inside zag. I want the zig. So I'm going to take two squares and I'm going to place one right along the edge of that fabric so that the points are right there and then one on this side. So there really is no measuring. So when you look close, we have the edge of the fabric and the edge of those points matching up. Now I'm going to use the edge of this fabric for my next cut and I'm going to cut on the outside of those points. Now I can cut. And if you look on the ruler, this particular square is a little bit of a generous 5 inches. So if I'd cut it at exact 5 inches, it wouldn't have been as easy to match up. So I have my first strip done. I'm needing 5 of these squares. I'm going to use that same technique move my fabric over. I want to make sure that I cut off that selvage. Smooth that out. Put the ruler right along those points and you're going to see a line to match up. I now have two squares the exact size of that outside measurement. I'm going to do that and cut a total of five of these red squares. So I now have five squares, the exact same size as that outside measurement. Now we're going to sew these together in a nine patch. And the solid square is going to be the center fabric. And in order to save some time when we go to cut, I'm going to take this to the iron and put a press in one fold and in a second. I'm just going to be careful that I don't unpress that first fold. So by carefully pressing those, you can see where I have the cross sections. So we have five of these little centers. Now we get to choose our fabric to go around the outside. So we're going to be able to just rearrange these until we get five blocks the way we are going to want them to look. We will always be sewing that one fabric in the center. We can sew those together, this row together, this row together, and then sew those units together. You can sew this with a scant quarter inch or a regular quarter inch, whatever you are most comfortable with. But 
we will end up with five squares that will have nine patches and that one red right in the center. When we do stitch these together, I would recommend changing that stitch length. Now a machine often pre-starts at a 2.5. Make those stitches a little bit smaller to a 2. We will be cutting these apart and that smaller stitch will be stronger. And be sure to match up those edges. We did cut so that point was out, so we do want to sew where that point is out. When we have those three units together, we will want to press those seams so that we can sew those three together. So we'll have to have those inside seams facing out, the outside seams facing in. Now I do find it's easier if I do that center with those seams going out. I'm going to be able to just take my iron and gently go here, turn, press here, press here, and press here. I don't want to unpress those marks in the center because those are cutting marks and I want to leave them. It's easier to press these. We don't have to worry about unpressing those centers. So press and sew those nine patches together. My five blocks are all done. Now I get to cut them apart and I'm going to cut them apart right in half. But I do have those beautiful press marks that are going to give me all the help that I need. So I'm going to be able to place my ruler right along that fold. I can see some straight lines here. And I make my first cut. Turn, make that second cut. This fold line is very handy because some of these five inch squares are not exact five inch squares. They could be five and a smidgen. And that would take this measurement off. So by following this fold, we're sure to get it right through the center. And do that second cut. So from that one block, I now have four blocks. And they're all different. So cut all of your five blocks. Something to keep in mind when you are sewing those nine patches together. If you have big prints or favorite prints, to have them in those four outside corners. These four inside corners are the ones that get cut. So if you have a big print or a favorite pattern, be sure to stick those in the four corners. But with those five blocks now cut apart, we have 20 blocks. And there are a lot of different ways we can put this together. We can put them together in straight rows. So that corner is all going to be in the same area. Let's call this layout number one. We can keep the first block going in one direction and flip the second block so that the corner is up. So we will end up with these little squares pointing together. Let's call that layout number two. We can have one in one corner one up at the top, one in the corner, one up at the top, one in the corner, one up at the top, corner, top. This gives it another look. Or if you want, you can add sashing into each one of those rows. When you add sashing, it even gives you more opportunity to change the look. I have decided that I'm going to do mine so that I have my rows going one at the top of the left, one at the bottom of the left. So the next row, I'm going to do top right, bottom right. So this quilt will work out so we have four blocks and five rows. Another reason I like this layout, none of these seams match. So I'm not trying to match a seam right here. And that's going to make it even quicker to go together. You can sew them in blocks or sew them in rows. So when those 20 squares are sewn together, we have a quilt approximately 27 inches by 33 inches. Cutting these extra squares definitely adds a little bit of sparkle and it makes that charm pack go a lot further. 
Now, of course, you can continue to add more charm packs and make it as big as you'd like, or we can add a border. By adding a border, we would make this a little bit bigger and it could be made into a baby quilt. So I have a question. Since you did help me pick out the fabric, I'm wondering, should I add that border or just quilt it the way it is? With or without a border, it is a fun block to make. We're able to put those nine squares together, cut them apart with a few tips and tricks along the way, and we have a sweet, quick quilt. I will be quilting this in a few weeks, and when I do, I'll either have a border on it or not. And that decision is all up to you. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and I do have a newsletter all under So Very Easy. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.